The Urban Assault Collection event is coming on April 23rd and it has some of the best cosmetics and it's introducing a whole new tournament system in Apex Legends where you can earn free rewards and this is called Apex Rumble. So let's get into everything in the Urban Assault Collection event and why this is an amazing event. So I'm going to start off with the new tournament system which is Apex Rumble. This is the beta of Apex Rumble so we're the first players to be able to try this out. But starting with the Urban Assault Collection event, this new tournament system will begin in Apex, where you'll be able to play three strikes, and it's solo queue only, so no pre-made squads, only three strikes, and during these games of three strikes, you'll earn points, which will place you in a leaderboard against all other players, and these points are earned by getting kills, assists, and damage, along with your placement. Most of your points come from placement, but of course it's three strikes, so you can really rack up kills. And it says here that once the Apex Rumble has concluded, rewards will be delivered based on your overall placement. Now it does say at the end, should you choose to re-enter the fray with legend tokens to reset your score and charge back into battle? I'm not entirely sure what that means. I don't know why you'd want to reset your score because it feels like you can only go up in points. But it seems like this will be a new use for legend tokens, which is great. And obviously they'll be evolving this tournament system in the future, which will probably mean legend tokens will actually be usable in whatever tournaments they end up bringing in the future. But let's talk about the rewards. So at the start of the Urban Assault event, round one of Apex Rumble will start and it will last until May 3rd. And during this, like I said, you can play and earn points. And the higher up the leaderboard you get, the better rewards you get. Just for taking part, you will receive this badge. Now, if you get in the top 75% of players, then you will get some Battle Pass stars. If you're in the top 50% of players, you will receive a stat tracker, which looks like this, which will track your kills, damage, and assists inside three strikes for all your legends. And if you're in the top 20%, then you'll get a Mastiff skin. And if you're in the top 100 players, you'll receive a unique badge. So it's gonna be pretty cool if you're able to obtain this badge. And then there's actually gonna be a second round, it seems, during the Urban Assault Collection event on May 3rd, and that will mean everyone starts back from the bottom and a whole new set of rewards can be earned. So for participating in round 2, you'll get this badge. For top 75%, you'll get Battle Pass Stars. For the top 50%, you'll get a Hollow Spray. For the top 20%, you'll get this Vault Skin. And for the top 100 players at the end of round 2, you'll get this very special badge. So that is the new tournament system, which I'm super excited for. And if you want the best chance of getting these rewards, then you're going to want to be well equipped for playing Apex. And that means if you play on controller, having a good controller to do the job. And I got the privilege to try out the new Flydigi Apex 4 controller. And this is genuinely the best and coolest controller I've ever owned. So if you want the best performance while playing Apex and any other games on your PC, Switch, Android, or iOS device, then the Flydigi Apex 4 is the controller for you. I mean, once we get past how stunning this controller looks, you'll realize truly how good this controller feels to play. The new Apex 4 controller has their own custom joysticks, which are actually force adjustable. So you can tweak the joysticks to feel exactly how you want, so you can adjust the tension to exactly fit your needs. I know that TSM members Imperial Howe and Verhulst use minus 20% tension on their joysticks, and the Apex 4's joystick can be adjusted to that level and even lighter. And even with zero dead zone, this controller is drift free, so you'll have extreme precision while playing Apex. Also, the buttons are are so satisfying to click. The grip has a really nice feel to it and it's super secure and it also comes with four macro adjustable buttons on the back. And now for my favorite and most fun part about the controller. It has a smart interactive screen where you can change different settings and how the controller feels. And here you can change the trigger mode. So if you're playing a racing game, the triggers will have force feedback. So it really feels like you're actually pressing an accelerator and brake pedal. A sniper mode, which has a really heavy duty feel as you push down on the trigger, like you're actually shooting a sniper. Recoil mode so you actually feel that feedback as if you're shooting and this just makes the controller so much fun to play with and you can tweak it to your every need. So other than playing Apex, I hopped on to Forza Horizon and the race mode really did add another level of immersion. But truly the best way to experience how good this controller is, is to feel it for your own. So thanks to Flydigi for sending out their Apex War controller to me and I'm genuinely happy to be able to promote this to you guys because I know so many of you play on controller and this controller will genuinely elevate your gaming experience. So you can check it out in the link in the description 
description and the pinned comment. Now, the collection event is just a normal collection event. It's not like the previous collection event. It's back to normal with 24 cosmetics. And if you complete it, you will get Octane's prestige skin, which has a very shark theme to it. He literally is a hammerhead shark at tier three. Let me know what you think. I think a lot of people are probably going to buy this event just because of how cool all of the skins are in general. But it does come with its very own finisher, which you can see here. And it also comes with a skydive trail, which is just two sharks following by the side of you. I mean, it's interesting. I can say that for sure. Now, this event definitely has some of the best cosmetics we've seen in a while. The legend skins look pretty awesome and the weapon skins to go with them are pretty cool as well. So I'm going to show you all of the skins that you can get in the collection event. Starting with the Wraith skin, which looks really awesome. She's got her abs out. She's got a red and black ninja look, but she's sort of undercover with that black cap on. She's got a white hairstyle tied up behind the cap and she's got these two blades on her back in my opinion the best skin in this event then we have a legendary loba skin where she's rocking this sort of denim look i'm not a big fan of the hairstyle you know from certain angles she looks kind of bold but that's obviously up to you guys if you think the hairstyle looks good or not but that is the legendary loba skin then we have a legendary rampart skin where she's got a bucket hat on i think this one is a bit of a vibe i think this looks very sort of uk style and obviously being from the uk i guess Yes, this is a pretty cool skin, but I think that's a cool Rampart skin. We have the legendary Valkyrie skin, where she's wearing an Oni mask, which is pretty freaky. Uh, we got the yellow and red look. We got the Valk text on her there. Kind of a puffy jacket as well. And a uh, pretty interesting hairstyle. She's got a bandana on. Yeah, I don't know what to think of that hairstyle, but overall, I think it's a cool skin. We have this Newcastle skin, which is pretty cool. Again, he's got a sword on his back. Now, we did think his heirloom was supposed to be a sword, so that's kind of mocking us now since we never got that. Hopefully, he can pull that out and use it, but I think this is a really good Newcastle skin. I don't think Newcastle has many good skins, but this one, especially the fact that he's got his hood up, looks really cool. We also have this legendary Vantage skin, which I'm not a fan of at all. I don't think this looks that good. I mean, some people might think it looks cool. It's a full face mask, uh, but yeah, I'm not a big fan. Out of all the skins, I think the Vantage one definitely falls behind, but the Epic skins are actually pretty cool as well. There's an Epic Revenant skin, which is probably the best epic skin we've seen in a while. The face on Revenant looks incredible. There's also an epic Horizon skin and an epic Seer skin that you can get as part of the collection event. Now, of course, there are weapon skins to match and even the weapon skins look pretty clean. So for the epics, we have this Spitfire skin, sort of a pink and black look. We have an epic Havoc skin, which looks all right. You know, I think it's pretty cool. I like the colors on it. And we also have an epic Wingman, which does look awesome with the black and white wolves on it. I think it's cool. Then for the legendaries, we have a hemlock skin which is this green and black look to it that one goes with rampart we have the r99 skin which looks awesome that one goes with loba we then have the re45 which goes with the raid skin which is black red and white then we have a legendary alternator skin which of course is for valkyrie it literally says valkyrie on it right there. And we have the L-Star skin to go with Newcastle. And we have the Nemesis skin that matches the Vantage skin. As for the free price tracker, well, it's not looking great. There are two epic skins that you get at the end, which is the G7 Scout, which you can see here, and a matching Catalyst skin. I don't think they're terrible, but as for the price tracker, you know, it's just a regular collection event at the end of the season. They're not giving us any free packs, just a regular boring old free price tracker. Obviously, free packs would have been awesome because this is the best event in terms of skins in a while so being able to get any of those for free would have been cool but it looks like they're not being generous this time but there you go that's the urban assault collection event which i think has some of the best skins that we've seen in a while and it introduces tournaments which bring a whole new use to legend tokens and free rewards and a whole new competitive way to play apex and remember check out the fly digi apex 4 controller if you play on controller and you just want to be better at apex